Hello beautiful blockchain people. Today let's analyze the price chart of Bitcoin that is currently trading at the level of $41,191.98. So this is the monthly chart. To some extent we are really very familiar with the price chart of Bitcoin in the major time frames. So let me start and remind you that earlier last year the price of Bitcoin skyrocketed and posted a sequence of new all-time highs. Then it formed a long leg dodge at the top of this price increase and a correction took place. Then we had something similar to a, a let's say dodge followed by something similar to a hammer or a bullish engulfing and the price rebounded took a break and after that skyrocketed and we had a sequence of new all-time highs. However, in November the price started declining and we had a sequence of three bearish candlesticks with descending maximums and descending minimums. So this was a bearish signal. But after that in February the situation improved. We had a bullish candlestick. Yes, its maximum was below the previous one, but its minimum remained above the previous one. So that was a small bullish signal pointing to potential, let's say, consolidation. Moreover, it was taking place within the, let's say, previous local law. Then we had a bullish candlestick in March with a maximum above the previous one, but at the level of that one and a minimum above the previous one. So this was another small signal pointing to potential consolidation or at least that was a signal that the bulls are starting to support the price. Now in April we had a bearish candle, we have a bearish candlestick and I want to say that this candlestick may change. We have enough time till the end of the month where close to the middle of the month. So there is enough time. This candlestick may change. But at the moment, this is something similar to a bearish engulfing because the bearish body co is covering the bullish one. This maximum is, let's say, slightly below the previous one. So it's a kind of bearish engulfing, but its minimum is still above the previous one. So let's wait and see what happens. Imagine that at the end of the month, this candlestick start uh, let's say in the next couple of days this candlestick start changing and if we have a small bullish candlestick at the end of the month this will confirm the continuation of this rebound but to be honest if we have a bullish engulfing at the end of the month this will start challenging the continuation of this rebound and then the most uh, optimistic scenario will be continuation of this consolidation. That's why we have to keep an eye on this candlestick at the moment. It is a small warning that we have to keep an eye on this candlestick because the bearish body once again is covering the bullish body. So it's some kind of, uh, of the previous candlestick. So it's some kind of, let's say, bearish engulfing. So this is according to the monthly chart. But of course, Let's have a look at the other time frames as well. So this is the weekly chart. This is the recent price increase followed by a correction. Here we had a shooting star, a long leg dodge, another shooting star, bearish engulfing. Then the price rebounded. Here during this rebound, we had a sequence of candlesticks. I've been talking about it many, many times with tall upper shadows. So that was a sign that the bulls were constantly facing resistance here. However, it seems that at some later point of time, they were able to overcome this resistance because then we had these two bullish candlesticks with ascending max minimums and ascending maximums. So that was a confirmation that the bulls are definitely supporting the price of Bitcoin within this range. And of course, we know that this is because we had a consolidation here, then we had a local low here. So this is this range, to be honest, so or the upper bound of this range. That's why we have a lot of support here. And now, uh, this is what we have. The price has been declining for a couple of weeks. 
Uh, the bulls should be really very cautious in the short term because we have a sequence of candlesticks with descending maximums and descending minimums. Let's see what we will receive at the end of this week. But of course, at the moment, we have to be really very cautious in the short term because we have a sequence now of three candlesticks with descending maximums and descending minimums. Let's see if this local high here will support the price. So if we say that we have something similar to a double bottom here, let's see if the local high between these two uh, bottoms will support the price so this is a really very important um let's say moment for the price of bitcoin in the short term according to the weekly chart now let's have a look at the of course if we see a continuation of the sequence of these bearish candlesticks with descending maximums and descending minimums definitely this will be a bearish signal that's why i just want to send you this warning that we have to keep an eye on this candlestick now let's have a look at the daily chart. We have three moving averages. The first one is the 30 day moving average or for the period of one month. Recently it has been moving sideways so it's much better than what we used to have during this price decline. The price was below the 30 day moving average as well. Now the price is fluctuating near the 30 day moving average, sometimes it is above the 30 day moving average, sometimes it is below the 30 day moving average, but the 30 day moving average or the blue line at the moment is heading sideways. So I would like to say that it seems that uh, the most likely scenario in, in, in the near future is continuation of this sideways movement. But definitely when the price is below the 30 day moving average, the bull should be really very cautious because it's a small bear signal theoretically. Next, if we are the 90 day moving average or for the period of one quarter or three months, I want to say that at the moment the price is at this moving average as well. Uh, since let's say the beginning of December, the price has been mainly below this moving average. Although we had some price rebound here or recently and in the second half of March the price was able to surpass this moving average. So this was the first initial bullish signal according to this moving average because once again since the beginning of December we have been mainly below this moving average. Also here we had a bearish moving average crossover. The blue moving average dropped below the purple moving average now we have a bullish moving average crossover because we see that the blue mo the blue moving average has been recently above the uh, purple moving average so we have some mixture of different signals the price is heading sideways and probably in the near future the most likely scenario at the moment is continuation of this sideways movement because both moving averages now are moving sideways and the price is consolidating at these moving averages. And let me also add the 360 days moving average or this is the moving average for the period of one year. It's obvious that we have to be really very cautious because during the recent rebound the price hit the one year moving average, faced a lot of resistance probably and has declined since then. And I want to highlight that uh, since the beginning of the bull market, the price has been mainly above the green moving average or above the moving average for the period of one year. And it has declined below this moving average for the very first time since the beginning of the year. And uh, now we tested this starting point of the year. And uh, we see that the bulls were not strong enough to overcome this resistance. Let's wait and see what happens in the near future. But definitely, according to the one year moving average, we have to be really very cautious because now it is starting to move sideways. It's not heading upwards. The price is below the one year moving average. That's why the bull should be really very cautious. I would like to underline once again that I will become more bullish on the price of Bitcoin once I see the price above all these three moving averages and preferably we have to see this bullish moving average distribution when the 
one month moving average is at the top, then is the one quarter moving average, then is the one year moving average. At the moment, we have some uh, completely different distribution of these moving averages. The price is below them. That's why at the moment we have to be really very cautious according to the daily chart and applying the three key moving averages. But let's have a look also at the four hour chart. Okay, this is the four hour chart. We had a solid increase here or we had an uptrend. Then the price started declining. We had this downtrend or descending channel or descending uh, narrowing wedge. The price has exited this descending channel or downtrend. We saw the breakout here. And now the price is fluctuating within this potential uptrend because if we switch to a linear chart, Although this uptrend is not very, very bullish, we see that we still have this higher lows or ascending lows and ascending maximums or higher maximums or higher highs. That's why this scenario is still valid. If the price receives enough support now at this lower line and rebounds, I won't be surprised to see another upward movement within this potential ascending channel. That's why I will keep an eye on the price behavior near the lower line of this ascending channel. And if we see a rebound, probably this will renew or if this will create or trigger the next wave within this potential ascending channel. How, however, if the price drops below the lower line of this channel, then it may validate another scenario and it's a bearish scenario because here we will have an inverted uh, flag. So this is the flag pole, this is the flag itself. So it's a bearish flag, not a bullish one or inverted flag. And then we may see a renewal of the bearish pressure. At the moment, we are still within this ascending channel. Let's cross our fingers for Bitcoin. Let's hope that the price will receive enough support at the lower line of the channel and will rebound. But of course, it is worth keeping an eye on the price chart constantly. That's it for today, fellas. Thank you for watching this video. Please share your point of view as a comment below. Of course, I wish you a very wonderful day. Good luck in the financial markets and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.